Hey guys, and happy rainy Tuesday. So I just wanted to quickly hop on and finally share with you my December empties and sort of, I guess the first, I guess the first week in sort of a half, by my hair, I need a haircut badly. You know, it's on the list. Um, but I have been warming through quite a bit of stuff. I started some things I don't think I have in this basket. I probably should have pulled it, but I can just make honorable mentions. You don't need to see it. Um, but some things that I started that I didn't finish. Um, but this is really what I finished. So I'll start off first with the non-wax items and Scentsy and things like that. So we'll do that. I have a lot of hand soaps in here. Oh, I'm throwing things. Okay, so I typically fill up my soap dispensers with the Scentsy soap. And um, I have a Scentsy hand soap at my sink my half bath, my bathroom in my basement, the kids' bathrooms, and then two soap pumps also in our bathroom. So we kind of go through a lot of soap, but we don't. Um, so it kind of seems like a lot. I'm like, why do I have so many? Anyway, I put Tinselberry in the kitchen soap pump. I love this one. It's very unfortunate. I think I went on about this in my last empties. It's very unfortunate that they um, didn't do more of a body line for this because I really like this scent. Again, I did not like it in the wax though. It was a new release in the fall winter of 2022 and it didn't come back in the wax, but it came back in products. So that's when you know that they're also gonna take something is if they turn around and they put it in a body care line or vice versa, they're gonna pull it in wax or something like that. That's kind of their thought process I've noticed or pattern. So the Tinsel Battery is strawberry, cranberry, cinnamon, and sweet sugar. It's a really nice fruity Christmassy scent because it's light on the cranberry it's light on the cinnamon, it's just enough. And so I put that in my kitchen, I love it. I actually ordered more, I think, in the in my December party closeout. Um, I found this. I don't know where this came from, but this is a Winterberry Apple Tea hand soap. This was from the a winter collection, I wanna say 2021 or maybe even 2020 when I first joined. I know it wasn't available in 2022 or I could be wrong. Maybe it was 2021 and then 2022. Um, but Winterberry Apple Tea is winter tea, cranberry, apple, and honey. I don't like this in the wax either, but I like it in the soap. And they also had it in a counter clean. So I think I have a counter clean still left of this, but I don't really, can't really smell right now. Let's see if I can smell it. I can just smell sweet honey. So at least, you know, maybe it's just a head cold and not the sea. But this is Winterberry Apple Tea. I finished that up in, I want to say the basement bathroom. But then again, I think it was just somewhere random because I just filled the basement bathroom soap pump with glacial water. This is glacial water, bright bergamot, aquatic lavender, and driftwood. And I really like this in the wax. Um, it was a scent of the month for August 2023. I think I want to say August 2023 or August 2022. It didn't have a warmer that month. So I want to say that it was August 2022. But anyway, Glacier Water, It had they have a body care line, but you couldn't get it in the wax. Um, I didn't club it. My husband likes this one, but I did stock up when they had a flash sale recently and I grabbed some bars. I grabbed some bars of it. I do kind of smell this one. I kind of smell a little bit of the, the driftwood and some sort of aquatic note. So I put that in the basement bathroom. It's fresh. Um, and then I don't know where I put this one. This is eucalyptus wreath. This is fresh eucalyptus, juniper, and frosted mint. Where did I stick this one? Maybe I put it in my husband's soap pump because we have double sinks in our bathroom, but maybe that's what's in his. I honestly can't remember, so. That's that with the soaps. Um, my perfect peppermint, where did this one go? I think I put this one in the half bath Christmas pump. That's right outside my door. Or honestly, I don't know where it is. 
I don't know, but all the sump pump, all the soap pumps are full. That was from the old packaging. So that's just to show you how long I've had it. So pretty much right now, all the soap pumps are sort of stopped. So we'll see what I get through next time. All right. Also got through a counter clean in Scarlet Sunflower. I like this. I don't like it. I, if you've watched me long enough, you know that I don't like it on my counters. I have granite and it streaks. However, I do love this for cleaning microwave grease, your sinks. It shines up your stainless steel sinks. Um, my stove top, I have gas stove top. So this is great to clean. Um, so I finished this one up at the beginning of December and then I had a little bit left of um, Perfect Peppermint. This was from a the Christmas collection, I wanna say 2022. Um, I love this one. I hated to see it go. Um, I don't like mint and wax. However, I did like this one in um, in the cleaning product. So got through two counter cleans and I think I have a vanilla mint under the sink and I'm going to finish up that winterberry apple tea that I dug out. All right. Then I got through two pods. I got through a cozy vanilla and pumpkin. I switched it out at the beginning of December to cinnamon, cinnamon pine cones. No, yes, no. Cinnamon pine cones, yes, cinnamon pine cones is, um, was going in my basement bathroom. So I, this one tatered out towards the end of December, but I switched it out from this one. And now I have vanilla barnwood going in my guest bedroom which I switched this one out and this one, or this one out. This one was guest bathroom, guest, whew, let's try this again. Guest bedroom, cause I don't put a warmer in my guest bedroom. I have the diffuser going all the time. And then this was in the half bath or the full bath in the basement. So both now have vanilla barnwood going. And I wish that I stocked up on that in the pods before it switched over. Okay, I think that might be it. Um, nope. I put a cinnamon pine cones scent circle in my car. I got rid of the, I think it's hanging. It had a little bit of scent left. I had a cozy, what's the name of the scent? Cozy vanilla and pumpkin, 3D pumpkin. It's now in my coat closet, but I switched in my car to cinnamon pine cones and it's kind of teeter tottering out. Um, and I think that might be it. Okay, now let's get on to Scentsy Wax. So I'll start off with one that actually part of the wax group that I talk with on a, waste, on a daily basis. We were just talking about this one. This is French Kiss. Um, it was a bring back my bar, uh, I think when I first joined for 2021. Um, this one's really pretty. I have, I had it in my club. I took it out, um, cause I had so many bars of it and I think I only have two bars now. I might, I sent one to summer and there's fig in this. Um, it's very perfumey, romantic, um, kind of subtle, just a really nice bedroom bathroom scent. Um, we are all talking that it kind of goes sour or weird at the end. But when it does go, it goes really well. Um, so I finished up a bar of it. I had like a few cubes left and I put two cubes in my bedroom and two cubes in my bathroom. And it's just a really nice bedroom bathroom scent. And if they ever bring it back, I probably would stock up on it again or grab a few more bars, but it's a good bedroom bathroom scent. Being a bedroom bathroom, I got through a bar of fuzzy blanket. This is like a really light lavender. I forget what other notes in it, but it is in my club. It's very light. I don't know if it's going to stay there, um, but I knew I had my quarterly coming, so I finished up the bar. It's just a really pretty, it was a bring back my bar, I think for the, I want to say June of last year. Um, so I clubbed it. It was very controversial because people kept saying it was light, but I feel like it's just enough. I typically put two cubes in my bathroom and two cubes in my bath uh, bedroom and it works for me. So really nice lavender scent. Um, if you like lavender. Um, all right. Then let's switch over to open concept. So I got through a bar of mint to be merry. This is the, or was the scent of the month for November, 2023. This was 
butter mint uh, cookie, a butter cookie, um, and just a really sweet mint cookie. Um, I had this going in my basement. It was strong and not too strong. Um, is it stronger than candy cane buttercream? Are they similar? Yes. Are they not so similar? Yes. Meaning this one, I get more of a creamy mint candy cane buttercream. I get more of a peppermint, if that makes sense. Um, but they are similar. So if you couldn't snag one or the other, I don't know. I think I clubs mint to be merry. I know I have two more bars of it, but oh, it says it right there. Look. This is crushed candy cane, sparkling sugar, and creamy butter cookie. And so I don't know if the sparkling sparkling sugar takes it up just a tad, but this one, it just, I feel it's sweeter and it's a little bit stronger than candy cane buttercream. So I got through a bar of that in my basement. Um, also, it's actually going in my basement right now. This was a bring back my bar. I can actually smell it. This is bursting with bright cranberries enveloped in buttery brown sugar batter with nuances of walnut and toffee. And this is cranberry muffin. It's in my club. It was part of Bring Back My Bar. I think I wanna say late 2021, maybe early 2022. No, 2022 to 2023. Um, this is good. This is a solid performer too. So she will always be in my club. You get this sweet, creamy, kind of cranberry brown sugar, and then after that kind of dies down um, of the sweetness from the cranberry, which I don't typically like cranberry scents because it's not really a tart cranberry. It's a creamy cranberry, if that makes any sense. Maybe it's the walnuts and the brown sugar. But when that dies down, it's just a nice kind of like vanilla sweet scent. So love this bar. I will continue to get it. It will stay in my club. And I just couldn't talk about it enough. Highly recommend it. So actually have some going right now in my basement. Um, I got through a bar of Rum Pum Plum, and this was part of the holiday collection from last year, 2023. And this is just um, crust plum. This is what I want sweet plum pastry to smell like. I do not like sweet plum pastry. I'll keep saying it. This is what sweet plum pastry should smell like. This, you get actually a pastry note. I don't get any of that on um, sweet plum pastry. I just get like a foul kind of plum or I don't know, something. This, I actually get a bakery crust with plum. It's good. It will. It's in my club and I thoroughly enjoy it. And it's a good performer. So um, that is rum plum plum. And then I just kind of went crazy. I think it was this week actually early in the week early in the week it is tuesday over the weekend i put rum raisin cookie in this is it bring back my bar as well it's in my club it's clove it's cookie i don't really like clove but i don't mind this however when i was warming this i had it going in my whole open concept i didn't like it as much as i used to so i don't know if it's going to stay there. I don't know if I'm going to maybe trade it out for something. I'm still waiting for my frosted ginger cookie, but that apparently is a controversial scent. So I don't know. We'll see, but it's in my club and that's where I'm raising cookie. You know, we just don't get bakery with Scentsy. So um, I did try yesterday um, the scent of the month for January, which is the orc scent and I could barely smell it but don't go based on my review because right now my nose is kind of wonky but it was sweet it was cotton candy when I did get up on it but I can barely smell things right now so um it's not really a scent for me I don't really like a lot of scentsy sweet bakery so okay that is it for scentsy um what else have I been warming? I have dashing going in my bathroom yesterday and today. Again, I can't smell it, but I love it. It's a good one. It's a new release. It's what a masculine man should smell like. It's a great performer. So that is dashing. Um, okay, let's get through some vendor. So yesterday, yesterday, yeah. Yesterday I used in my whole open concept, this is Kevin from K's. 
This is sugar cookie crunch, Mac apple, and Jack Frost. Now, I can smell it in the clam. I can smell like a really nice, I don't know what's in Jack Frost. Maybe it's that um, Jack Frost has mint. So there's a mint note to this. So you have to like mint. Um, I did not get any... Again, I can barely smell. I did not get any apple, um, so maybe it's the sugar cookie and the mint from Jack Frost, if that's what the scent notes are. Um, I don't know if it would be a repurchase for me because um, all I got was mint, but again, that's really just going based on what I'm smelling right now, but it was decent. Um, whoever could smell it in the house liked it, um, and I had it going with Grinch Miss Crunch, which is definitely a mint cookie kind of like almost kind of like an Andy's mint. Yeah, it's like a chocolatey mint, almost kind of like marshmallow mint cocoa. So if you like marshmallow mint cocoa from Scentsy, I think you'll like Grinch Miss Crunch from K's. So I had that going in my office yesterday and then this going, there was two kind of snowflakes. This was going in the open concept and it was like a minty kind of chocolate scent. So that's that one. Um, I think that's it for K's. I thought I warmed something else from K's, but give me a minute. Let me look, 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 look. Okay, I think that's it. All right, now let's switch over to um, Harper James. So today I have going Santa's Bake Shop from last, actually 2022. Fresh baked bread, gingerbread, nutmeg, caramel, and maple. And this is really nice. Um, I don't get a lot of maple and that's why I like it because I typically don't like a lot of maple in my wax. So don't let the maple and the caramel scare you. This is just her fresh baked bread and her gingerbread. It's just a really good blend. So if you like gingerbread and you like fresh baked bread, you definitely have to give Harper James Santa Bake Shop a try. And I just went through the whole brownie bag. I think I had like five left in here, right? There's six. Yeah, I had five left in here and I just went through it because I just got more this go around in 2023. So I'm good there. And so I just went crazy and it's in my office here and then outside as well. And I put a whole brownie in a warmer. Like I don't, I got a lot of wax, let's go through it. So that's that one. Then another Harper James that I got through and I really like it and they would be a repurchase for me is Crystal Clean. This is clean cotton and pink sugar. It's just great for if you wanna air out, I mean, a couple of days, it was just kind of really stinky in the house from everyone coughing and I try to open the windows. So I put, I had two cubes or two brownies left, put it in my bedroom bathroom and it freshened up the place. But I don't typically like things with pink sugar or blue sugar, but this one is a really nice fresh scent. So don't let the clean cotton also scare you because I don't like laundry scents, but this one is a good one. So this is crystal clean, definitely a repurchase. Okay, I think that's it for that. Okay, then I got through some Brita's. I really made some dent because I got, I have a lot of Brita's shapes and I wanted to just kind of cut them up and go through them. So obviously I got through Christmas Eve, um, right? I think I put it in on Christmas Day actually, or right around there because I had Christmas Eve in Cookie Land going for Christmas Eve along with Mario's Home for the Holidays, two great Christmas blends from Rose Girls. I didn't finish it, so I didn't put it in here, but that's what I warmed for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. But this is Christmas Eve from Brita's. It's Fraser Fur, Danish Butter Cookies, and Sugar Cookie Royale, and it's just so good. It's a good bakery tree scent. That's all you have to say, and I'm game. So that is Christmas Eve. I do have one more shape, and I think I'm good there. Um, I also just put in, I wanted to try because I have a bag of shapes and I just ordered more, I think in her pre-order, but this is Kim's special eggnog and this is just her eggnog, eggnog and roasted pine cones and it's good. I mean, again, you have to like eggnog scents and you have to like roasted pine cones. Um, it wasn't a strong performer though for me um, as I get wax everywhere. I was kind of a little disappointed. I would have liked it to, and I don't know, maybe it's just Brita's, um, or maybe my warmers, but Brita's don't go too long for me. I mean, it does go strong right out of the gates, but it doesn't long last for me. So I'll continue to purchase from Brita's, but I just don't get a lot of strength, like lengthwise, but when it did go, it was good. So that's that one. 
Then my daughter picked one of the days Santa's been poisoned. And this is sugar cookie royale, sugar cookie dough, peanut butter cookies, chocolate chip cookie dough. Now I smelt this one stronger and longer than I did Kim's special eggnog, if that makes any sense. So I would definitely repurchase Santa's Been Poisoned. I don't think I have any more shapes, but this was definitely a good one, especially if you like cookie dough scents and peanut butter in wax. So highly recommend it if you like those things. And it was a very good cookie bakery scent. So definitely would repurchase. All right, I just put in the other day uh, Holiday Horror. I don't know where I got this one, if it was in her Christmas sampler or whatever I ordered. I never hauled that, but anyway, this is eggnog, toasted marshmallow, and sugar cookie, and it was good. Um, again, I didn't smell it, um, but I think it might have also been part of my nose, because um, now, now I can smell it in the bag, but everyone in my house couldn't even smell it, so I think it was just lighter, um, or maybe it needed to cure more. It was poured in November, um, but typically, again, it's hit or miss for, for, for this. Okay. I think that's it for Brenna's. All right, switching over to Teddy B's. So I got through a bag of raspberry jam frosted sugar cookies. And I think this was in one of the round robin boxes. Um, and this is just sugar cookies, her signature sugar cookies and butter cookies with raspberry jam. And it was good. It was not strong. It was a nice raspberry jam butter cookie. Um, but again, I hear mixed reviews on Teddy B's Signature Sugar Cookies that it needs to be mixed or it's not that strong even after it's cured. So it might've just been that, but I think if I was gonna choose raspberry jam for anything, I think I would choose for second and spruce. So anyway, I got through it. Um, it was a souffle, I enjoyed it. I don't know if I'd repurchase, even if I had the opportunity, if it was offered. Okay. Um, I got through a bag of Santa Claus is coming to town. This is so good. This is just fresh baked cookies, candy cane, and Christmas trees. So if you watched my haul, recent haul of Teddy B's, you heard what I thought about this. It's almost like Christmas cookies from Teddy B's with the addition of candy cane. So if you want a minty Christmas tree bakery scent, I suggest getting Santa Claus is coming to town if she offers it again next year. Christmas cookies is the same. I just get more mint from this. So you have to like candy canes with a bakery note. So that is just Santa Claus is coming to town. It's obviously a repurchase because I just bought a souffle. All right. And then I also warmed cozy cookie cake. I didn't get through it and holiday over the course of December, but I just still have some of the souffle left. Um, and I think what else did I warm? Um, uh, Christmas trees, uh, strawberry Christmas trees and cream. It's amazing. I didn't get, I used half the tub. I did not use the whole thing, but it is amazing. If you like her Christmas trees and cream, which I always rant and rave about, this just takes up a whole nother not notch and notch. And it is, it's spectacular. It is all time. If you like strawberry pound cake, if you like her Christmas trees and cream, it's an amazing blend. It's just everything that Christmas should be with sweetness. It's so good. So I got through a half a tub of that and I'm glad I still have another tub. And then in my haul, I got through a sample of Country Christmas and this was clove, bakery, tree. I think there was two trees in there. I think Fraser fir and spruce and it was good. I had it here in my office and it was just enough. Uh, so I'm glad that I got that in a souffle. All right. Um, that's it from Teddy B's and then switching over to second and spruce. So second and spruce, I, um, I mentioned my haul, but I never filmed it. I did get her two of her Christmas samplers. They are amazing. I'm especially loving her scoopable, uh, with her mix. It's called the deck the halls mix. And you pick like, if you want bakery, if you want mint, if you want cranberry, it's an amazing idea. Highly recommend vendors should do that. I just think it's so creative. So I've been getting through some of that of hers, along with her milk and cookies. Um, I also have uh, Hey Santa, and which is milk and cookies and a pinch, or no, Santa is for real. And it's Fraser Fur, hint of Fraser Fur with milk and cookies, amazing blend. If you like her milk and cookies and you like 
her like a tree note note almost kind of like christmas trees and cream but it comes off a little different because of the fur notes amazing blend so hey santa santa's for real milk and cookies and then her oh christmas tree blend i've been going crazy and i've been warming a lot of second and spruce for the month of december her wax is top notch and it performs so well in my home and it goes for a while in my bathroom, I also had part of her sampler. It was like cozy, cozy plum something. It was so good. It's Palo Santo plum and something else. It is so, so good. I don't have it here. I'm halfway done with it. But her wax is just like right now. I can barely smell, but I can smell this scent cup. Um, so highly recommend Erica and Second Spruce. Her wax just goes, performs well. Anyway, so... Started a lot, but just didn't finish a lot from Erica. Her wax is good. Oh, Christmas mug cheer. It's an espresso. Another good one. Anyway, this one I warmed. My daughter picked this is little tree cake. And this is just the nostalgic scent that brings us. It's Christmas tree cakes. And it's good. I mean, I can smell it here now. Um, and I warm this, I think, on New Year's. It's so good. I'm glad that my husband went in there on the restock because I wasn't able to order. I was out with my daughter and he went on there and he got his own haul. And so I got two of these. Her Christmas tree cakes or whatever her dupe is. This is amazing. So this is Little Tree Cake. I used it in my uh, kitchen and it was good. I also got through a Dark Nights, uh, like mini loaf. This is Palo Santo, Malo Fireside, Vanilla Bean Malo, and Blackberry. This is phenomenal. If you like Palo Santo blends, if you like Malo Fireside and Blackberry Jam, or even like those two things with the hint of sweetness, with the creamy, this blend is phenomenal. Now, I only was able to pick up... Um, I think in her pre-order, I only picked up one of her, like, I don't know what she calls them, snap bars. And now I'm regretting not getting a souffle, but I hate chopping wax. Oh my God, I can smell this bag. This is just, if you like Malo, again, if you like Malo Fireside and Palo Santo, you have to get this blend. It's just so good. Um, amazing blend. Erica, you're a genius. That is Dark Nights. So I'm disappointed that I don't have more, but I'm sure she'll pour it again. And the snap bar will just have to be enough. All right. Switching over. Oh, I missed a sample cup from Harper James. Anyway, we'll get to that at the end. Um, I warmed some lavender and speckles. Um, I got through a Deuce's Market. This is salty pretzel, sweet white cake, and zucchini bread. Um, definitely an amazing salty pretzel. She has amazing pretzel if you like pretzels. Um, I don't get much cake. I just get pretzel, like her salty pretzels. So I think I have another bag of this. And I like this because I don't get much of her zucchini bread, even though I don't mind Beth's zucchini bread. I mean, I do and I don't. It depends on what the like blend is. Sorry, guys, I have something in my eye. But that is Juices Market. I also got through a strawberry pound cake and Palo. This was from, I think, either a um, round robin or I might have gotten this in a sampler. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I think it might have been around Robin. Or maybe it was gifted to me. I don't know. This is phenomenal. I think I just ordered some more. This is just her strawberry pound cake and her Apollo is phenomenal. So, um, amazing. Would order again. Or I did. And then Apollo Santa. You saw my haul. I wasn't going to go in on her January 6th uh, pre-order. But I did. I got a large bag of Palo Santa. I have one big bag, uh, one of these bags left, and this is just amazing. It's Donut Shop, Palo, Cinnamon Sugar Donuts, and Roasted Pine Cones. And this was uh, a summer blend, and it is, it is like Donut Shop and Palo, which is amazing on its own, but with the pine cones, oh, it's so good. I used the whole thing for my open concept, and I was like, let's just do it. And it's amazing. Love it. Glad I bought more. All right. And then before I ordered, I had a sample of Speckle's birthday cake. Beth named it after her chickens. I heard Anya rave about this. It's birthday cake. I think there might be some other note in there. Um, maybe I don't know if there's Paolo in there. Anyway, I'm glad I got a small bag to try, but it was a really nice sample. So thanks, Beth. I enjoyed this. I did smell this before I lost my nose. <laughs> 
All right, and then samples I had from Southbound. I had Christmas tree cookies, and this is a, it was in my office. It was really good, actually. Pine fresh lime, cardamom pepper, and delicious frosted sugar cookies. And it was really good here in my office. It was a mini little gingerbread shape from my recent haul with Southbound, and I'm giving Southbound another go. I did her shapes this time, not her clams, because her clams just smell like wax to me, and I don't get good performance. It's very light. Um, this would be a repurchase of shapes if she offered this in the winter time. So I enjoyed that. Um, I did try her lavender cream puffs in my basement over the weekend, and I had to take it out. Um, don't come for me. I wasn't a fan and it was super strong and I have, I lost my nose like Sunday night and I could smell it with no nose. <laughs> it was very strong lavender. So I don't know. I'm going to give it one more time, but I might be friend mailing it. Um, but that's her lap Southbound's lavender cream puffs. I got a bag. Um, and then Harper James Christmas trimmings. It was a sample. I had this going here in my office. This is just tree and butter popcorn. Highly recommend it. So I definitely would repurchase this. Her butter popcorn is phenomenal. So if you like butter popcorn, I have a bag of it, but I don't have just tree alone. I guess I could mix it, but this was amazing. It was tree and butter popcorn. So what's not to like? So if you like tree and butter popcorn, Give Harper Jane's Christmas trimmings a try or try that blend on your own if you have those alone. So that's it, guys. That is my empties for December. What I've been warming, I kind of dabbled in a lot of things as I always do. I never can finish anything. And I used to do melting baskets, but now I just, I feel like I just don't have the time. And I don't know if it was because I didn't have, my life was hectic from like August on. And I felt like November, I kind of came up for air. So I don't know. What do you think, guys? Should I do a January melting basket? Should I even try or shoot for February? Uh, comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what you're warming. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.